it shoots at a thousand frames per second, so just kind of know that any big action is better. Water looks good, hair moving around looks good. Yeah, There's all sorts of props. You guys are ACL veterans. Uh, when, when you find that you're coming to Austin and, and playing ACL, what, what are some of the things that kind of go through your mind when, when you see this is on the itinerary? Terror, post-traumatic stress mm -hmm. syndrome. No, just kidding. Lots of uh, shivering and crying. We get really pumped. I mean, rolling into Austin last night from the airport, you know, the drive in from the airport is, is so hilarious. I feel like we take the same route every time we come in. <laughs> it like, gives you time to get prepared and you start getting more and more excited, you know, and then you see downtown and you get Austin, I think for any musician or any artist, Austin is like mecca kind of. You know, when you roll in, you just feel like so welcome and so excited to be here. You know, a lot of people say, you know, that there's something about this town that sort of artists enjoy, fans and music. Enjoy. What do you kind of think contributes to creating that sort of atmosphere of like sort of supporting the arts and supporting music specifically? I think a, a willful balance between city government and, and the community supporting supporting the uh, institutions around here, you know, I, I think with sound ordinances and, and open streets, I, I think this town is just kind of built around enjoying music and enjoying being together with each other. And uh, I think when you have that kind of setup, fans come in and play for those kind of people with that mindset, and they want to come back. And the word spreads and the snowball starts rolling. So it's kind of, this town is kind of set up for that. I think they had the forethought to to put it together. Yeah, even from when you come in as a as a, a young band, like we played 33 Degrees Records here as our first show yeah. in like 2000 or 2001, and somebody offered to their floor, their floor, so we could sleep for the night. Like, yeah, that it, never happened in any other town. Like just yeah. a complete stranger walked up, like, do you guys need a place to stay tonight? We know a sandwich shop is down the street. Yeah, um, just that kind of spirit. Yeah, the hospitality is overwhelming. This is uh, this is the tenth birthday for ACL. Do you, any of you guys remember anything that you got for your tenth birthdays? I remember getting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and being kind of upset because I thought I was beyond that. I thought I was like a grown up. <laughs> you know, when you start to move <laughs> move beyond your toys and you think you're grown up, and then you still get toys, and you're like, wait a minute, how do people view me? So for, for young bands who, you know, what advice would you give them to, to sort of, you know, if they wanted festival playing 101, what would, what would be your sort of nugget advice that you'd pass to a younger band who's just starting out and probably needs to learn a thing or two about how, how you play a show like this? Hmm. Just get really drunk the night before, be hung over. <laughs> Don't drink any water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but in all seriousness, you know, catering your, your set list to, uh, a daytime slot, you, you don't have the uh, control over the variables like you would at a nightclub with lights and sound. So I don't know, I, it, it's nice, you, it's kind of the same, but you just go at it with a different attitude because it's daytime, you're exposed a little bit more, you can't hide behind the shadows of a stage. So just think about it, uh, think about it like going to battle. I don't know. Watch Braveheart. Oh. Right Watch before. Braveheart. <laughs> YouTube those walls of terror. Is that what they're called? The, yeah. When those metal bands split the crowd in two, yeah. and then they at the same time together. they run together. Yeah. Watch those. Watch that footage. Type in Mel Gibson on YouTube and just, just watch whatever comes. <laughs> I know you guys are, are playing at the, at the same time as Stevie Wonder, but obviously, you know, he's a huge icon that's here this year. If you guys were going to do a Stevie song in your set, what, what would be, the, you know, each of you, which would be your choice of the Stevie song that you want to go for? Summer Soft. Summer Soft, yeah. I do all of Fulfilling This First Finale, start to finish. Yeah. Something off that record. That's my new favorite. Yeah, it's tough to have to play at the same time as Stevie because we're, we're all just. I mean, he's like Beethoven or something. You know, there's like, I don't see how you can be human and not love Stevie Wonder. So, so you won't be that upset if, if you hear that, if, you know, one of your fans is like, you know what? Okay, 
catch you next time. We completely understand. If we weren't playing, we would be there too.